my previous videos I told you guys about you know, about to be talking about like the risk to reward ratio Fibonacci long position um, applying the breaker structure and all that um, like I said you before you play before you trade okay you want to make sure you identify the trend all right so as you can see here people usually don't trade on Fridays I understand what it is now so basically all right so first of all I gotta make sure my lines are deep and not red so when you draw your trend lines um me basically me what I do is if it's if it's a downtrend I, I color my trend line um I make it red okay I make it I make it red so I can tell that it's um it's a downtrend so the faint red line telling me that it's a downtrend so what we are looking for in this market when you're trading you want to identify your market right so when it's a downtrend so when it's a downtrend what are you looking for you're looking for a seller's market which is a bearish market okay so what happens in a bearish market is that we are placing sell and what the market will do on Fridays and sometimes Mondays is they like to trick people so you have to stay calm this is what separates successful traders from um, basic traders so this is what the market would do if you don't see, the trade has to come to you don't go to the trade if you don't see if you okay so what you do is you mark your Fibonacci from the highest point to the lowest point okay so when you mark your Fibonacci from the highest point to the lowest point all right when you do that you put your long position too so you, you understand your risk to reward ratio and as you can see the blue is more than the red that means we expect to make more than if anything lose okay so what the market did was that it was sent out a, it's called a liquid liquid a liquid grabber like a liquidator whatever it is a market liquidator usually what it does is it's going to fake you out that's what they call fake out so you see the last green candlestick close to the red box what it does is it'll shoot up it'll shoot out of structure and people are going to rush in you don't want to rush in what you want to do is wait for a second candlestick confirmation this is gbp jpy um uh, the job i don't know what time it is in japan but it's a very i believe it works at the night time so this is a seller's market so people who don't know this are going to place a buy and they're going to be faked out but trust me it's going to go to a second candle that's going to be red and bang that's what you do and you jump in okay and the fibonacci the last the, the last point you want to go just a little bit above it and place your take profit and your stop loss so go just a little bit above the the highest point in your fibonacci okay you want to keep it nice and tight so to all my traders have a good friday and um well, let's get this back, alright? If you have any questions, holla at your boy.